In this video, we're going to learn how to remove all the non-alphabetic characters from a string using C. So let's say we have a string like this, and this string is going to have a mixture of alphabetic and non-alphabetic characters. And what we want to do is remove all the non-alphabetic characters from this string. So we would remove characters like two and percent and space and open bracket and ampersand, all these characters are not alphabetic characters. The alphabetic characters are the characters lowercase a to lowercase z and uppercase a to uppercase z. We'll include a couple libraries to help us solve this problem. We'll include the string.h library because this library includes a function called strlen, which is going to give us the length of a string. We'll also include the ctype.h library because this library includes a function called isAlpha, which is going to tell us if a character is alphabetic or not. Next, let's output the string before we remove the non-alphabetic characters. So we'll have printf, and before colon, we'll output the string with percent %s, and then we'll have backslash n for a new line, and we'll output the string with string here. Now, our algorithm to solve this problem is going to involve looping through this string one character at a time and checking if that character is alphabetic or not. If the character is alphabetic, we're going to store it in a new string that we're going to store in this same car array here called string. So the first thing we'll do is loop through the string one character at a time and check if that character is alphabetic or not. To help do this, we'll find the length of the string using the strlen function. So here we'll call strlen and we'll pass it our string. This is going to return the number of characters in the string, not including the special null terminator character that ends the string. So all strings in C have a null terminator character at the end of the string. And this function is going to return the number of characters in the string, not including that character. We'll store that length returned by the function into an int type variable called length. Now to loop through the string one character at a time, we'll create a for loop with a counter variable i, which is going to be initialized to zero. We'll increment i by one with each loop iteration. And this loop is going to continue so long as i is less than length. So the counter variable i in this loop is going to go from zero to one to two to three, all the way up to the last index in this string with each loop iteration. And we can use i to examine the character in the string at that index to check if that character is an alphabetic character or not. Let's do that next. We'll use the isAlpha function from the ctype library to check if the character is alphabetic or not. So we'll have here, if is alpha, we'll call the is alpha function and we'll pass it the character in the string at the index i. So this function is going to return true if the character it's passed as an argument is alphabetic. And what we'll do is output that character if that's the case with percent %c and we'll have dash is alpha followed by a new line, and we'll put the character here with string at the index i. Otherwise, we'll put the character with percent %c, and we'll have not alpha, followed by a new line, and we'll have string at the index i to put the character. So now, if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll be able to see that we're correctly identifying which characters are alphabetic. So we see here, lowercase a is alphabetic, two is not alphabetic, percent is not alphabetic, and so on, all the way up to the last character in the string, two, which is not alphabetic. So this part of our algorithm is now working. Now, to remove the non-alphabetic characters from the string, we're actually going to create a new string stored in the same string car array what we'll do is only write characters from the original string to this new string if 
their alphabetic characters, what we'll need is a new counter variable j to keep track of the length of this new string and also keep track of the next index to write the next character in this new string. So we'll have here int j is equal to zero and j is going to keep track of the length of this new string. And what we'll do is if the character is alphabetic, now we're going to write that character into the string car array at the index j. And we'll increment j by one because the length of that new string has now increased by one. Now when this loop is done, j is going to be set to the length of this new string. What we'll do is store the null terminator character at that index to terminate the string. So we'll have here string at the index j is equal to the null terminator character. And that's the algorithm. Let's go over the algorithm step by step to ensure we understand it. So up here, let's make this string even simpler. We'll just have here a2% and c, and we'll have the counter variable i up here, and we'll have the counter variable j down here. And both of them are initially set to the index zero. Then in the first loop iteration, we'll check to see if the character at the index i is alphabetic, and this character is. So we'll copy the character at the index i to the index j. And in this case here, nothing happens. j is going to be incremented by one because the character is alphabetic. So j is now going to be here. i is always going to be incremented by one. So i is now going to be here. Now this time, this character is not alphabetic. Because the character is not alphabetic, the loop has really done its work. And i is now going to be incremented and i is now going to be here. Then again, this character is not alphabetic. So the if statement isn't going to do any work. We'll just increment i again by one and i is now going to be here. So this character now is alphabetic. And what we do is take this character and copy it into the index j. So we'll have a c and j is going to be incremented by one and j will now be here. But now when we increment i, i has now reached length. And so the loop is going to stop. And at this point, we insert a null terminator character at the index j. And so our new string is going to be a c. And that's the string with those two non-alphabetic characters removed. So we have solved the problem. Let's go back to our original string and we'll save this and try it out. What we'll do though is output the string after. So we'll copy this and paste it down here and we'll output the string and this time we'll have after colon. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll see the string with the non-alphabetic characters removed. So one more thing we could do is put this code inside a function so we could call the function whenever we want to remove all the non-alphabetic characters from a string. So we could have here a function with a void return type. The function is going to be called remove non-alpha and the function is going to accept a string as an argument. So we'll have car star string where this is going to be a pointer to the first character in the string. The function has a void return type because it's going to modify the string directly. We'll copy this and paste it down here. Then we can copy our code right into this function. So we'll copy this here and paste it here. And the algorithm is going to work the same as before. This time though, it's going to be done inside a function. So up here, we'll call remove non-alpha and we'll pass it our string. When we do this, it's going to pass it a pointer to the first character in the string, and the function is going to use that to work with this string. So we'll save compile and run the program, and we'll get the same result as before. So this is how we can remove the non-alphabetic characters from a string in C.
Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.